Hi there, I'm Victoria and in this video we will discuss how to set up the Google Sidekit plugin on your WordPress website. Let's go! Whether you're running a personal blog or a client's website, Google Sidekit can be a one-stop solution to gain insights from essential Google tools. It is a powerful all-in-one WordPress plugin for developers and site owners wanting to use Google services to monitor their websites. If you haven't already, activating this plugin lets you unlock comprehensive performance metrics. Plus, it provides features to boost website optimization. And the best part is that it is completely free and easy to install. Let's learn how to use it together in this video. The first step to using Google Sidekit is installing it on your WordPress website. If you are new to the website creation, you can directly activate the Google Sidekit during onboarding with Hostinger. After completing the payment process and choosing WordPress as your website building tool, select Google Sidekit as one of the starter plugins. Then you can go on with the necessary steps to complete the setup process before accessing the WordPress dashboard. You'll see that Google Sidekit is now activated along with other default plugins under the Plugins menu. On the other hand, if you already have a WordPress website, go to the Websites tab on each panel and click Manage. Click Edit Website to access the WordPress dashboard, then navigate to Plugins and choose Add New. Type Google Sidekit into the search bar, then click Install Now. Once the download is complete, hit Activate. Now you're all set. Let's move on to the Sidekit setup process. Access the Plugins dashboard from the WordPress sidebar menu. Then tick the checkbox to connect your Google account. You can also tick this checkbox if you consent to Google using your data to improve its services. After that, click the green button to continue. A screen will appear where Google Sidekit requests access to your account. Hit Continue. Now you will see the Google Tools setup process outlined in four steps. This is to verify site's ownership, turn on dashboard metrics, set up Search Console, and enable Google Analytics. Make sure to click on all the blue buttons to continue. Once done, you will be redirected back to the WordPress dashboard screen. As we see here, SiteKit is asking to set up a Google Analytics account. Let's do that by clicking the Create Account button. Choose the Google account you want to connect with the SiteKit. If you already have one, the data will link automatically. And that's all you need to do to set up the SiteKit plugin. From the header, you can input a specific URL to check how a page is performing. It's also possible to change the data time frame by clicking on the calendar icon and add people to collaborate by assigning them a user role. Moving on, you can click on the menu tab here to jump directly to each section, like traffic, content, speed, and monetization. Otherwise, scroll down to see traffic analytics, content metrics, site speed performance, and AdSense. If you go to settings, you can see which tools are connected to your site. Then to manage the plugin, see its status, and configure basic settings, head to Admin Settings tab. On the Connected Services tab, you will see all the Google tools that are integrated into the website. By completing the setup process earlier, your site automatically connects to Search Console, Analytics, and PageSpeed Insights. Go to the Connect More Services tab for additional tools like AdSense, Optimize, and Tag Manager. Keep in mind that the mentioned Google tools have a standalone version outside the plugin. Setting them up beforehand will make this next process much faster. But if you haven't used any of them previously, that's okay too. We will also review the functionality of each tool to help you better understand which one suits your website best. Google Analytics is an essential solution for all websites. It tracks site traffic and provides relevant user data to help you understand visitors better. From the SiteKit dashboard, you will see the analytics data on the top. This shows the traffic volume, your audience demographic information, and the devices they use to access your website. For more comprehensive data, click the Analytics link located in the bottom right corner. It will take you to the Google Analytics dashboard where you can see and manage all your website's metrics. Note that if you create a Google Analytics account during the SiteKit setup process, you will get a universal analytics property automatically. 
On the notice board, a message will prompt you to migrate to Google Analytics 4, also known as GA4 property. To read more information and access our migration guide for the GA4 property, visit the link in the description below. I also recommend checking out our comprehensive webinar on Google Analytics by clicking the info card on the screen. The second section of the SiteKit dashboard displays data from Google Search Console. It enables users to analyze several aspects, including search traffic and performance, to improve their website's rank on Google Search. From the SiteKit dashboard, there's data on the total number of impressions, clicks, and unique visitors from Google Search. You will also find information on which search queries drive users to your web pages. By clicking the Create a New Goal button, you can set specific targets to meet your business objectives. Meanwhile, clicking the Search Console link in the bottom left corner will redirect you to the Google Search Console dashboard. Here, you can submit sitemaps and individual URLs to ensure Google keeps up with your site updates. Additionally, you will get notified each time Google finds any issues on your website. Google PageSpeed Insights lets you use online tools to analyze and speed up your website. It reports both on mobile and desktop performance from real users' experience data. You will see different metrics to identify which areas are performing well and which need improvement. From the SiteKit dashboard, PageSpeed Insights summarizes your website performance scores. If you want to access the full features on Google PageSpeed Insights, click the link on the bottom right of the page. Here you can see more detailed diagnostics of each website element and suggestions for improving performance metrics. Moving on to the first additional tool you can add, AdSense functions to track how much your website is worth. Once you grow your site and gain a good traffic volume, adding Google AdSense is a great monetization option. However, unlike the previous tools that utilize a single Google Analytics account, you'll need to perform several steps to connect AdSense to Google SiteKit. From the SiteKit dashboard, click Connect Now under the AdSense section. Choose a Google account to connect and hit Continue. The plugin will redirect you to the AdSense section on the SiteKit dashboard. Here, click the Create AdSense Account button. Fill in the fields according to your website information, pick your country of residence from the drop-down menu, then tick the checkbox to agree to the terms and conditions. Now click the Start using AdSense button. On the main page of Google AdSense, start completing the steps until all the yellow warning signs turn green. The tool requires you to fill in your address and contact information, choose how ads will appear and connect your website to AdSense. Once all the sections turn green, Google will review the website for monetization. For a complete guide on setting up Google AdSense on your site, head to the link in the description box below. Google Tag Manager is a tool that lets you update tags on your website easily. It is a reliable feature for easier tag management with minimal code usage, a faster load time, and simpler workflow. Plus, it has a preview mode that lets you check whether your tags and triggers work before publishing. If you use other Google tools like AdSense and Analytics, Google Tag Manager provides integrated built-in tag templates. That way, managing tags becomes easier through a single dashboard. To connect Google Tag Manager through the SiteKit dashboard, navigate to Settings, then find Tag Manager under the Connect More Services tab. Now click Set up Tag Manager. Choose the account you use for the Google Tools, then hit Continue. Once you return to the SiteKit dashboard, click Create an account. Complete the necessary information on the page, then hit Create. Make sure to review Google Tag Manager's Terms of Service, then click Yes to proceed. You'll be redirected to the Google Tag Manager dashboard, which you can utilize for the website later on. For now, let's return to the SiteKit dashboard to complete the connection process. Navigate to Settings, then Connected Services. Beside the Tag Manager menu, click Complete Setup for Tag Manager. Choose the Tag Manager account and container you want to connect, then hit Confirm and Continue. You have now successfully connected your WordPress site to the Google Tag Manager. 
Google Optimize is a tool that can help you perform A-B testing. It is helpful when you want to make changes to your website's front end and see how it performs with visitors. However, Google will completely shut down the Optimize module from the SiteKit plugin by 2023. For future A-B testing purposes, it will be integrated into the Google Analytics 4 property. As I mentioned earlier, consider migrating your Universal Analytics account as soon as possible. To connect Google Optimize to SiteKit, navigate to Settings as we did previously, then click Setup Optimize. On the Google Optimize landing page, hit Get Started. From here, answer the setup questions according to your preferences and click Next. Now tick the checkboxes next to the conditions that you agree to. The first one will allow Google to use your data to improve its products. After that, select your country of residence, then tick the box to acknowledge the terms of service. Hit Done to finish the process. The system will take you to the Google Optimize dashboard. You can set this up later, whenever you are ready to explore the tool. Now let's return to the SiteKit Settings tab from the WordPress dashboard. Next to the Optimize tool, click the Complete Setup for Optimize button. There will be a page asking you to fill in the container ID. You can get this information from the Tag Manager section. Copy and paste it into the box, then finish the process by clicking the green button. Great, now your site is connected to Google Optimize. Note that when you perform A-B test via SiteKit, you may see the page flicker. This happens when the page first displays the original content, then quickly changes to the alternative one set for the experiment. To avoid this issue, go back to Settings menu where you can see all the connected tools. Expand the Optimize section, then click Edit. Activate the Anti-Flicker snippet by enabling the Toggle button then hit Confirm Changes. And that's how you use Google SiteKit on your WordPress website. If you need more information or help with the setup, visit the official Google Site documentation page. Find the link in the description below. And don't forget to share this video and give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful. You can also subscribe to Hostinger Academy channel for more videos like this. Leave a comment if you have any questions or share your thoughts about Google SiteKit plugin if you already tried it out. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey!